All right, y'all, so this is testing an O2 sensor. I actually have two O2 sensors. Code is being read for this one, which is bank one sensor two, which is passenger side behind or in the catalytic converter. Tested that one, it's still reading voltage. Um, I still have to test the resistance. Don't know how to do that yet. But I do know how to test the uh, if it can read for oxygen or not. That one passed that test, so I think there might be a clip or a ground somewhere not properly plugged in. Now, as for this one, this is a uh, bank two sensor one, so it'd be driver's side on the header before the catalytic converter. It's a little different, as you can see, you know, it's got a different uh, type of, like, sensor on it. In fact, I don't think you can see it. There's little holes now on the top of the sensor there. Come on. Focus in. Sorry, guys, I have a terrible camera. Oh, well. Um, there's little holes on it. It's a different sensor. Now, this is more of a blue collar way to uh, test it. But basically, what you're going to do... Oh, this has six wires? That's weird. That sensor has four wires, right? Two white wires, which is for the heater, so that it heats up the sensor, so that it works right away, because these sensors only work if they're at 600 degrees. Those two white wires for the heater. The gray and the black wire over there are the ones you're going to want to plug into to test. And um, for here... Let's see what color wires they have. So they have two white wires, just like on the other one. So there's two white wires right there. There's a red wire. Let's see if I can move this out of the way. Just move that down a little bit. Yep, okay, there we go, look at that. So I don't know what the other sensor for this is, but there's a yellow, a red, two whites, and then a gray and a black. Uh, I'm going to assume we're just going to go for the gray and the black ones again, because that's what we did for the other one. So, gray and black, there's a gray one right there, and the black one right there. So, the two prongs on the bottom right, inside here, is what we're going to hook up to. And basically, all I'm doing to hook up is I got my voltmeter, or my multimeter here, and I just took some uh, speaker wires, actually, that we had in the electrical drawer, stripped the ends, wrapped it around the actual sensor for the multimeter and then it has these little like push clip things because that's how it used to work for the speakers and you just push these over the little prongs in the sensor uh, i'm gonna get set up and i'll get back to the video okay so i'm set up i have my two sensors make sure none of the wires are touching in the clip or right here just so you have a more accurate reading we have the o2 sensor basically what we're going to do is use a propane uh torch to heat up the sensor till it's red hot and you want your multimeter to read about one volt. Maybe a little less is fine, but about a volt. And then when you take away the heat, it should basic, pretty much instantly go down to millivolts or whatever. And if you have a setup, and if you have, if your multimeter isn't an automatically setting voltage, uh, just set it to do two volts max because you're only really going to one. Uh, I'm going to do that real quick and see what it reads. Okay, so at this point, I uh, stopped filming due to ease of use, and I'm filming with a phone, so it's hard to hold the phone and read voltage. But basically what happened is I hit the O2 sensor with the torch, and the voltage did not change at all. And I actually figured out how to read the resistance or the ohms afterwards, and I found that it had a resistance that was within reason, but... The fact that it didn't read any voltage at all when I heated up the sensor to six above 600 degrees means that the sensor actually had shorted itself out and it was completely junked. So I replaced the sensor and the code went away.